Okay, so this is uh, straight off my Flash Forge Dreamer. Uh, as you can see, we've got some really, really fine plastic. It's sort of like spiderweb. Let's pull that off. Now, this is the raft of the Flash Forge Dreamer. So, let's see how easy this comes off. Oh, that was pretty easy. That wasn't a problem at all. So, that's the raft. That's off. Now, uh, this is the support structure. I'll see if I can get a close up. Okay, so that's the support structure. And we should be able to just squeeze that. Yeah, it just comes off real easy. That's not a problem. Okay. All right, so. Ah, oh, yeah. That comes off really easy, it's just falling off really. Yeah, perfect. Alright, and as you can see I've printed a hook. Uh, this is for my car. So it clips in the side so you can hold your shopping bags. Now, here is the big support structure in the middle. So we should be able to just squeeze it. And, yeah. There's like no effort at all. Uh, and that's it. Yeah. Okay, that was actually a bit easier than I uh, imagined. But we've got like one little strand here. So we'll just chop that. Um, and a couple of little strings underneath. We'll see if we can give them a bit of a chop. That's how easy it is uh, to remove the support structure and uh, what's the other word? Uh, support structure and the raft on the Flash Forge Dreamer. And that was using the uh, slicer settings uh, in the Flash Print software. So we'll get rid of all the rubbish and there we go. We've got a really nice um, hook. Um, not much damage to the surface area, and that's a really, really nice um, uh, ball on the top. I'm just trying to adjust the focus. I'm just using my iPhone. But, uh, yeah, so there we go. We've got a perfectly uh, workable hook now. And that's at 15% infill. And that's really strong so that's cool and that was printed on my uh, brand new flash forge dreamer